How's it going guys and welcome back to another video. So it is a beautiful morning on the farm actually really really nice and we are on our way to the sawmill. We're gonna go see Mr. James Miller over there because I phoned him last night about some saplings and just to place an order and he actually said that he ordered some in for someone else a while back and they still haven't collected them. And he's worried that, yeah, they're not going to last too much longer if they don't get planted. So he said that we can take them if we want them. They're ready. And he'll give us a bit of a discount as well. And there's 60 of them, three crates, and that's perfect. So I said, yeah, absolutely, we'll pick them up this morning. So we're going to do that real quick. We'll get that paid for and load it up. And then we'll head up to the forest because there's quite a bit of work that I want to do up there today. But we'll chat about that in a little bit for now we'll get this sorted out get it all paid for i think that's them down there load it up and i'll see you in a bit all right well that is paid for and that was two and a half thousand dollars which is nice to get a 500 dollars discount there i'm obviously quite happy about that but of course i'm also a very happy boy at the moment because i get to play with their awesome forklift Unfortunately, I haven't been able to figure out where I need one of these yet. So I'm guessing we're probably not getting one. Which kind of sucks because I would love one. But yeah, I guess for the moment I'll just have to come here and sort of mess around with it a little bit. And then go home and be sad. Anyway, it is what it is. We are going to get this loaded up anyway. And then we'll head up to the forest because there's quite a bit that I want to do up there. Obviously, we're going to do a bit of planting. But firstly, we need to do a bit of stump grinding. We've got quite a bit of stumps to clear over there. I think about 14, 15 of them. But I also want to get a bit more trees taken down today. So we might actually have a few more stumps to clear out as well. But I don't want to get trees cut down for selling. I actually want to get them cut down for our log cabin that I want to build eventually i want to start sort of preparing for that so that'll be nice if we can start working on that a little bit but yeah i guess after that we'll sort of see where it goes it'll be quite a bit of work anyway and probably keep us busy for most of the day doing all of that work but yeah for now we have this loaded up and i mean these crates aren't really that heavy you can probably load them by hand it's a bit uncomfortable i don't mind offloading by hand but it's a bit uncomfortable trying to load by hand. So I would prefer to just use a forklift and also it's fun. But yeah, I mean to offload it's not that bad. They're not that heavy. And if you really had to you could load them by hand as well. But yeah, I just kind of choose not to. But anyway, we're going to get this strapped down. And we're going to head up to the forest. And, oh, hang on. Hello. All right, well, that was an interesting conversation. And when I say interesting, I mean the not good interesting. So that was the agency. And apparently, there was some more damage to equipment. Apparently, the windscreen on the Kibota tractor was broken. Now, this is just starting to get... A bit, well, silly, to be honest. And I said to him, well, when I left, everything was perfectly fine. I've been doing work for them forever. And we've never had an issue. And suddenly, twice in a row, we had an issue. Now, I mean, I should have really recorded or at least taken some photos of everything when I was done. I kind of thought about it initially and I really just forgot so that was my bad. Nothing I can do about that. But also, I sort of got into a row with them because they should have insurance covering this. That should not be our problem. So it comes down to the fact that we're not going to get paid for the job that we did yesterday because of the, the damages. And I basically just had a fallout with them over the fact that it could have been anyone. When I left, everything was fine. They obviously don't believe me, and yeah, I got a bit frustrated about the sort of whole insurance side of it as well, because that should really be on them, not on me, 
And basically what it came down to is we won't be working for the agency anymore. That's that's it. I just said to them, you know what? Just no. Not gonna not gonna go down like this and find someone else to um to do the work for you in in this area. So that is basically that then. I'm not happy about it because it was a nice little income. I mean, we've got a lot going on here, so it's probably not a massive deal, but just the fact that we've been doing work for them for so long and yeah, suddenly this. So I kind of don't know what to think about it. Either there's something going on, someone else damaging this equipment. I don't know if it's just someone going around finding equipment that's basically left alone kids or something and you know i don't know just damaging the stuff for whatever reason or is the agency lying about it for financial gain i don't know i don't know what the the story is around it but i'm not happy about it but anyway it is what it is there's nothing we can really do about it and we're just gonna let it go we're not gonna be working for them anymore so yeah that's that like I say, not ideal, really not ideal. I sort of liked to have that backup of the the jobs for the agency because sometimes we actually got paid really, really well. And I did enjoy it as well because we got to play with some nice equipment. But anyway, it is what it is. So we are up at the forest, obviously. And what I want to do is maybe get some trees down first because we need to do some stump grinding. We've got a few around. But I want to grab a few more trees out of there, maybe down that side, and we'll just stack them up and eventually we'll get them taken down to the farmyard. And that'll eventually get turned into a little log cabin for us when we have a bit of time over the next few weeks. So we're going to get that done and then we'll get the Veltra out with the stump grinder and we'll get all of the stumps taken care of. And after that, we will probably get some saplings in the ground as well. We have a few to put in down there. And then we can probably put at least two rows in here. Again, I don't want to come too close to the trees here because I want to leave a bit of working space. But we'll see how much we can get in there anyway. But yeah, we are going to jump into that and get a bit of work done here. So for now, sit back, relax and enjoy. We were bike dirt tires on paved concrete On the right roads Just had the wrong wheels But I see you back in town Same shortcut jeans My head still spins My heart still feels Like riding a bike Just you and I Down the long back road Your brown hair blowing in the wind like a did bad day And all those teenage summer nights When I love you, you love me too It was so easy to get that feeling When our eyes meet, I can hop back on our love I like riding a bike Like riding a bike Cause babe, our hands still fit Still get that smile And you want and curse Still drive me wild And bring me right back To wishing I didn't have to go And thinking maybe we should give it one more try tonight Just take it slow like riding a bike Just you and I Right, well, things are going pretty well so far, and we're back over here with the truck, and, well, it's going that well. We've basically got a trailer full of logs, which is very poorly stacked, because, well, there was a lot more logs than what I kind of thought there was when I started stacking. 
it didn't look like there was that many of them while they were out on the field. So I was just sort of dumping in the trailer and eventually I was like, okay, there's um, a lot of logs here. But anyway, that's all of them. We got all of them on there and we've got them down here now. So we'll probably disconnect the trailer and take the truck back up later today. But we do have the case over here and we do still have the other log fork here. I don't love that log fork, but it'll do the job for now to get that all unloaded. But we're not actually going to be unloading today, I don't think, because we've still got quite a bit of work to do up at the forest. But I thought while we are down here, we are going to grab the case and the trailer there. And I want to go sell the canola that we have in storage. So we've obviously still got quite a bit of canola in storage from the last harvest. And I've been keeping an eye on the prices. I was going to sit on that canola for probably a good few months still and wait for the prices to really go up. But the prices are pretty high at the moment and I don't think there's going to be that much of a difference between now and like December but yeah I thought we'll just jump on it and get it sold so we're going to do that real quick we'll jump into a time lapse we'll get a few trailers sold I'm not sure how much we'll get in one trailer so we might have to do a few trips but I'm not 100% sure but we're going to do that we're going to get the sold we'll see how we end up doing and then we'll come back and take it from there like riding a bike that I haven't read Got a break pad squeaking that I gotta check But I don't mind it Cause I got her riding on that shotgun side With that take me till the sunrise Look inside her eyes Now we're flying Yeah, we're flying We got 10 miles of open road That's in the rain All right, well, that is everything sold off, and we ended up getting two full loads there, which I'm very happy about, and we got a smidge under $15,000. So that's amazing. That's a really, really good price, because even when we just harvested that, I calculated that on the very highest price that we could get for it that season, we would have got about $16,000. So $15,000, I'm very happy with. And when I dropped off the second load, I did have a quick chat with them. And they also say that especially where canola is concerned, they think the prices are currently about as high as they're going to go for the season. So I'm very happy with that. And what I did is I logged into the bank account and I immediately paid $20,000 towards the loan, which means we are currently sitting on about $16,500. And our loan is down to $30,000 on the initial $100,000 loan. We've still got $300,000 on top of that. But that's coming down really nicely, so I'm very happy about that. But moving on from that, I did want to talk about the Combine real quick, because a lot of you have been suggesting that we sell the Combine. And I kind of thought about it, but to be honest, it's not worth much. And we really struggled to get one in the first place. And I haven't completely given up on arable farming. I do miss arable farming and I think there is money to be made there. So we'll see how things go with the silage for the next few months. But for the moment I want to hold on to that. 
if we get to a point where we decide, you know what, arable's not for us, we'll stick to just silage, then we'll sell it. But for the moment, I want to hold on to it and see how things turn out. On a different note, I'm also still thinking about putting in a different road somewhere in here. But I'm also considering putting in a second shed. Now, initially, I thought maybe we'll put a shed down here. But if we do that, we can't put a road in there. And if we do want to put a road in there and a shed, then we have to move the shed back, which means we're encroaching on the field massively, probably out to somewhere around here. And that's losing quite a lot of this field, which I don't really want to do because we're also going to put up the, the little log cabin over there somewhere. And we might need to take a corner off of this field to do that as well. I don't know yet. We'll see how big we go on that anyway. So, I don't really know what a good solution is here for, well, this. So what I think I'm going to do is nothing. I'm going to do nothing because we don't have the money for a shed right now. And when we do have the money for a shed, we need to get one for the sheep, not for the farm. Because that's sort of priority at the moment. They need some sort of a shelter for the winter. And... A short-term solution, or temporary solution, would be to just get rid of at least part of this fence. Maybe down to about here. Because coming in from there really isn't a problem. I mean, I got the, the big semi-truck in here. I mean, it was a bit of a squeeze, but not too bad at all. It's coming from this direction, which is a problem. To take a turn in here, even with like the side-by-side, -side, which is tiny, it's a bit tight to make it around this corner. So I think we might just take down part of this fence i don't want to take down the entire fence because it's kind of nice to park things down here but to be fair we only need it up to about here maybe so yeah we'll see i'll probably just take down part of that and that'll kind of solve the problem for the time being anyway but yeah we are gonna head back up to the forest though because we've got quite a bit of work left to do up there but i think what i might do is just disconnect the trailer here and I'll drive the truck back up there. And at some point when we've got all of this unloaded, we'll come back and take the trailer back up to the forest. I don't think we're going to need it up there today anyway. Oh, hang on. Hello. All right. Well, that was slightly unexpected. It was a guy that was actually up at the dealership and he was interested in that logging floor. So I went up there real quick and had a chat to him and he wanted to know how much we want for it. I didn't really know. So I just said to him, make me an offer. And he said 3000. So I went, yeah, sure. Go for it. And yeah, he took it on the spot. So I'm more than happy. I didn't really know how much to charge for it. I was thinking somewhere in the range of about two and a half. So getting 3,000 was fantastic. I mean, the thing was in really poor condition. And yeah, I'm kind of glad that it's off the lot there because it was a bit of an eyesore. But yeah, so that's nice. A bit of oop, oop, oop. Yeah, that's what we're here to fix. A bit of unexpected money. But yeah, we are down here with the Veltra, obviously. And I've got the big stump grinder connected up. I think everything is connected up correctly anyway. We'll see when we actually fire the thing up. But yeah, we've got quite a few stumps to go through here. So this is going to take a while. But I think what we are going to do is we'll get this knocked out. And then we'll get the planter hooked back up on there. And yeah, we'll go through. We'll fill up that little gap down there. And we'll throw another row or two in here. We'll see how far we get. But yeah, we're going to do that in a real quick time lapse. And we'll probably get the drone out for that as well. So yeah, we're going to jump into that. So for now, sit back, relax, I don't know and enjoy. What I'm doing. I'm just wandering the ruins looking for a place to start. If I'm honest, I don't know who I am. All I see is a man who's waiting for a wake-up call So won't you touch this heart that doesn't have a song to sing And sing it to me And sing it to me Open up my mind that cannot find
wish I was better at everything I have ever tried and failed to be. I wear every let down, I show every scar. Job done, and we've got all of the stumps out of there, nice and cleaned up, which is fantastic. And we've also got a few new rows of saplings in the ground. And we've also got this little gap down here filled back in. So that's all good. I think we're somewhere in the region of about 80 to 90 saplings in the ground at the moment. We could be up to 100 possibly. I'm not 100% sure. What I do know is we've got a lot more trees in here than what there was when we came here, which is great. Because I do want this thing obviously to work financially, but I also want it to sort of work in an eco-friendly type way. Now that is a fine line in between, you know, putting more trees in than what you take out, but you also have to take into consideration like water supply. Now there is a creek running around here, there is a lot of water in the area, so it's not something that I have to be too concerned about but it is something that i want to keep in mind i don't want to go overboard with sort of the population of trees but yeah i think so far things are actually going really really well and i would like to get this just nice and dense anyway just because i like forests i always just have i love the sounds and the smells and just this sort of whole atmosphere it's a lovely place to be so yeah even if it's just for that i would like to get this nice and densely populated with some trees but yeah i obviously left a gap over here again just to give us a bit of working room so we don't run out over our newly uh, planted saplings and we've still got a, quite a load of saplings down there that needs to get into the ground soon because yeah they've obviously been sitting around for a while already hence why we got a discount on them so i don't want them to sit too much longer so we'll have to come in here and clear out a bit more space for them but yeah we'll worry about that when we need to but yeah i think things are really going well here i'm very happy with the progress obviously these trees are going to take quite a few months i think up to two years if i'm not mistaken to grow to full maturity but it'll be nice to sort of follow the progress and see how things go but we are going to leave it there for today, guys. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you all next time.